So now that you've gone through the basics, can you please walk us through the problems that our client was facing while selling their products because of an, uh, an inefficient sales process? Uh, starting off with the first problem that our client was facing, uh, it's related to the pricing of products. So standard Salesforce pricing model only deals with the list price of products that the admin needs to set for each product. Products can be included in multiple price books for different pricing, uh, but cost-based pricing and block pricing are not supported. So the reps had to manually adjust pricing when it came to applying markups uh, on products or if the block pricing was required. Uh, so it was wasting a lot of valuable time of the sales rep and a lot of human er errors caused inaccurate pricing on complex product configurations. The second problem was with uh, giving discounts on products. So Salesforce does not offer standard automated discounting and admins needed to create uh, manual discretionary discounts on any product in the code. Uh, you can only use one type of discounting on the same product, uh, automatic or discretionary. There was also no auto automated way of check checking the discounted amount and improving it. Uh, so sales reps would often give discounts against, against the company's policies, uh, which resulted in loss of revenue. And talking about the third problem, uh, which was related to the bundling of products. It wasn't offered as a standard functionality and by default your reps must look through the entire product list to add the options they need to code, which was very time consuming. Talking about product validation, standard validation rules for products let you only ensure that each product in the bundle meets desired requirements. Uh, for example, uh, you don't exceed a specific quantity or end up with negative price. Uh, but they are just limited to one record at a time. And moving on to code documents. Uh, standard code documents only generate PDFs from standard uh, Salesforce codes, but not dynamically generate document text. Uh, 